So you may be a remote pilot, but can you pass this airspace quiz? What is happening, remote pilots? Jason Shepard here, and whether you're a remote pilot or not just yet, I've got an amazing airspace quiz coming up for you here. But if you are not a Part 107 certificated remote pilot yet, I encourage you uh, to head on over, links below, m0a.com. Some of you know it says remotepilot101.com as well. All forwards to the same place, don't you worry. Same great course, been going since 2016, the largest. Nobody has prepared more Part 107 pilots uh, then remote pilot 101 m0a.com and just blessed uh, to be a part of, of honestly your your big success we played a small part in your big success so uh, let's dive into it let's head over to the VFR sectional chart and I want to give you an honest airspace quiz maybe you remember this stuff from back in the olden days when you took your part 107 well let's just see how you're doing and if you have a part 107 test coming up well this will be amazing prep so let's do it here together Let's head over to my iPad, let's look. I'm using a manned aviation app uh, called ForeFlight. You don't need to download ForeFlight. Um, it's, it's too expensive uh, and everything else just for looking at charts. There's, there's better charting apps out there for, that are much more affordable um, with that. But anyways, let's go ahead, let's look and work through this here together. So I really let me put myself on Do Not Disturb so I don't get emails and such. There we go, all right, here we go. All right, first things first, what kind of airspace is this I'm looking at right here? It is a blue dashed line, a blue dashed line. What, what, what are you talking about? I'm talking about this, this airspace, this, see the red circle I just put around it? I'm talking about that airspace right there, that blue dashed line, I just, you see that? That is class D, class delta airspace. If, um, if I wanted to listen, I'm not to communicate, but if I wanted to listen to the control tower at Ocala, what frequency would I listen on? What frequency I listen on? 119.25, how do I know that? It says CT, control tower, right there. Could I fly, by the way, can I fly? Uh, what if I wanna fly right here? Can I go fly? Well, yes and no. Uh, you can't just willy-nilly go fly. You, need, you would need to get Lance approval because look at this, you are in a class delta airspace, like we said, down to 1500 uh, up to 1500 feet so down to the surface and up to 1500 feet so anywhere anywhere inside of here inside of this this blue dashed line I would need Lance approval to fly in there uh, let's look out here what about this guy what on earth is happening here what is this the FAA calls it a shaded magenta circle thank you FAA for being so fancy I'm gonna add extra circles around it what is this? What, uh, like, what kind of airspace is this? What is this actually showing here? Well, this is showing a class echo transition area. What does all that mean? Well, class echo airspace inside of it here starts at 700 feet. Outside of it, it starts here at 1200 feet. What does that matter for me, Jason? I only fly up to 400 feet. Well, that's exactly the question. Can I fly, he uh, can I fly here or here? or here, or here, or here? The answer is yeah, because it's class golf airspace, class G airspace from the surface up to 699 feet. Now you're not flying that high anyways. You say, but I'm so close to an airport. I understand. And you need to exercise extreme vigilance and you should be listening on their common traffic advisory frequency of 122.97 and, and you should alert the airport manager and everything else that you're in, in the vicinity. But at the end of the day, this is class golf, class G airspace. All right, um, what is this flag here? This flag is an ATC checkpoint for Lake Lakalusa. Good job on your pronunciation if you got that one right. That is just a point. I could call up ATC and say, I'm flying over Lake Lakalusa, and they would know where that is. What about these R's in a circle here? All right, I see a, there's a bunch of them actually. You see them all? That is showing a private airport a, a could be a grass strip could, could be paved but it is a private 
airport. It doesn't have airspace around or anything. Can I, can I fly there? Well, you could be trespassing if you're actually on their property, but there's not airspace or anything like that here to typically worry about, but it is private property and there's probably, a, 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 there is an airfield there. Could be grass, could be dirt. I don't know what it is, it doesn't say. How about this? Um, what is this right here? R2906. What kind of airspace is that? That is restricted airspace. You can tell by the blue hash marks. See the blue hash marks and the circle around it? Compare that to down here. Um, I'll move it here. The Palatka 2 MOA. There's a military operations area shown by these magenta hash marks here as well. Do you see all those? Again, just, just good stuff that we need to know and understand. And I'll, honestly, the question you should always be asking yourself is, can I fly here? And we went through a lot of scenarios where yes, no, and sometimes is the answer. That's the important thing. You know, passing your part 107 is one thing, but knowing can I fly here, what's the airspace, knowing my surroundings, everything else, that's the important aspect. We answer a lot of questions about can I fly here, and we're always happy to help. But listen, if you need your part 107, or uh, you know someone who needs their part 107 or has it, the test coming up, send them this video. Also send them the links to buy the course as well. Again, thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you for being such a blessing to myself, uh, my wife, this amazing team here at m0a.com, remotepot101.com. There's anything we can do to make you a safer, smarter pilot. Please don't hesitate to reach out. Have a blessed, abundant, outstanding rest of your day. And most importantly, remember, a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you.